fourth fastest, Just Want a Corona. Just Want a Corona's pre-trial form didn't look like a candidate for a $50,000 All-American supplement, but helped by the ultimate equipment change, this former colt has been progressing nicely. Judd Curl sent this horse out to me, and this horse had showed a lot of talent, uh, obviously, to those guys to even consider what they were doing. He had had two maiden races, beaten in both, good seconds, had lots of trouble, and, and he's, a, he's a big, tough, strong-minded horse. And so when we were coming up to uh, our final work to decide whether to pay him into the trials, I worked him at a pretty nice horse, and he handled him really easy. So the money was paid, and just one of Corona stepped in against Rainbow winner Carter's Cookie. They're running. Carter's Cookie kind of took an awkward step and is behind the eight ball. He's got clear sailing now, however, and out for the lead is Rabbit's Rabbit into the extreme outside. Just won a Corona. Carter's Cookie has got it in the gear now. It's going to challenge. And then we have one bald eagle, but Just won a Corona's in front. Just won a Corona. Get a win. With Rodrigo Vallejo up, Just Want a Corona emphatically rewarded his connections with the fourth fastest time. He's the son of Stell Corona, out of Just Wanna Be Me, bred by Vaughn Cook and champion trainer Paul Jones. Owner Douglas Trailer was the man responsible for the bold action. John Steinbow trains three of the four fastest qualifiers and believes Just Wanna Corona's future is very bright. This horse is, 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 a, is a potential threat. He, he gets picked right, and he, he gets where he can get away from there running like he did in the trials the other day. He'll be hunting them up at the other end. That's the end where $1.2 million awaits the winner.